Hi, so I made this plantation shutter. This is a 70 inch wide by 70 inch tall shutter. I wanted to share in this video some of the small lessons I learned. Well, I built the shutter so I don't have to learn them again. This took me about two to three weekends to build and it should have been much shorter than that and I hope these lessons will help. When I build the next one, it will make them the build times much smaller and hopefully help you as well. Again, this is not a tutorial. If you want a good tutorial, I suggest just you look at the one by the Geek Pub. And he has a really good tutorial on how to make these shutters from the Rockler shutter system. The first tip I wanted to share with you is uh, you can get these rails and styles from Rockler pre-cut, but if you have a planer and jointer, my recommendation is to go ahead and buy five quarter lumber and mill it down to the right size and rip it to the right width. So that way you can save a lot of money because uh, if you buy them by the inch from Rockler, it gets pretty expensive. Just to give you a reference, this uh, for this shutter, if I bought it from Rockler, it would have been a hundred bucks, but it cost me like 30 to 40 bucks in lumber and I used my planer and jointer to get the thickness down to inch and a sixteen and rip it down to the right width. So you could save more than twice the amount of money by going from five quarter lumber. The next little tip I wanted to share with you is uh, about the drilling of the holes. Now this shutter system comes with three holes. One is a quarter inch drill bit and one is a uh, I believe it's a 964 and then there is a 332nd. So the quarter inch and the 964. Now there is no preset depth requirement on this. Now this one here, uh, the 332nd comes with a 3 8 inch preset. So you don't have to worry about that. But these two, right, uh, you don't, it doesn't really matter how deep you drill them. So this uh, quarter inch is for getting the holes in the, the style. And that for that hole, only thing I want you to make sure is you get this X uh, here really tight so this bit doesn't move around. Because what happened for me is uh, this thing, the, the, when you go about your drilling, uh, this thing can go inside. I mean, so you would, what, what would happen is you would end up making shallower holes. And so what I recommend you do is also take one of these and make sure that the depth is right after every tile is done. So that's for the quarter inch and the same goes for the 964. This is the hole you will be making inside the louver and uh, make sure that's the right depth because you don't want to go back and repeating if you don't get the depth right. Again, so if the hole is a little bit deeper, it's okay. Now for the 3 8 inch, make sure it's really tight and this 3 8 this I guess the you want to make sure the depth is the same because that's where the these control arm pins go and you want to make sure that the depth is right on that one. The next tip I want to share with you is when you're drilling the holes in the styles, the videos make them look so easy but uh, what you want is a nice drill that has a low high torque, low speed setting so you just are going steady and yeah you want to go slow on this basswood and so the drills uh, like that would help a lot. The other thing I wanted to share with you is when you make these holes you're gonna notice a little bit of cracking on this plexiglass which is perfectly fine so it's not really a crack I think it's a surface crack or something but you don't need to panic it's not gonna break so that's okay making those holes will get a little getting used to so uh, once you make a few holes you'll uh, feel more comfortable but this was like the most tedious aspect of the whole process is making these holes there's just too many of them but one at a time the next thing I wanted to share with you is you need to make these beads on the style and please make sure you use a fence to run it through the router, the bead router bit, because I did not use a fence and I was trying to just glide it along the ball bearing, but I screwed up this part. So this part was totally botched and I had to use like a Bondo uh, mix to fix this. So I have a video 
at the end that uh, that captures how I did that so uh, if you want you can check that out uh, but make sure you use a fence for making this bead here the next thing I wanted to share with you is basically these two panels you don't want sunlight to get through them so you make one of them 3 by 8 inch uh, wider so you can make a rabbit sorry for the shake uh, you can make a rabbit so what happened is I goofed up and I made this the same width as the other one so I had to splice stitch together another 3 8 inch piece with glue and sand it down so you can't see it but uh, I recommend you get it right the first time so it's a big pain I don't know if you can see it but there's another 3 8 inch piece here and once you sand it down you can't see it but it's a pain so get it done right the first time the next thing I wanted to share with you is uh, there's a lot of ways to join the the grail and the style uh, what I used was pocket holes so are actually two two on this side and two on the other side so what I did is I screwed up and I made the pocket hole holes on the long side so I I don't know if you can even see them here but these were plugged really good with the uh, same kind of wood I have another video at the end which shows you how I made those the last piece of tip I want to share with you is basically these control arms uh, if your shutter is uh, Rockler sells this only in 36 inch sections and if you have a shutter that needs a longer section you can make these yourself they're super easy so basically just it's a half inch piece of stock and if you've got a, a half inch I think it's a half inch round over bit uh, you can round over both sides make sure you use a fence and feather boards and then you rip it down to like a 5 8 inch width these are super easy to buy make from a 4 quarter basswood so and they can save you a lot of money if you do it that way so uh, I made a few and they came out pretty good last but not least before you do any of the drilling make sure that your styles and rails are perfect 90 degrees so use a carpenter square or whatever that you got make sure that it's square on all four sides before you proceed if it's not square do what it takes to make them square because that will save you a lot of time in the future so um, if you have to sand it down here or if you've got to I don't know redo this cut because this cut is not perfectly 90 do what it takes but make sure that before you start drilling any holes that you have it all squared up. Sometimes you have to chop out the section here to get it square so it's really important that you do that. 